In this video, I will explain what high availability mode is, also known as HA mode. I will also demonstrate how to set it up. HA mode allows a slave unit in the LAN to take over the role when failure is detected in the corresponding master unit, providing hardware redundancy. HA failover between two routes is based on the VRRP, which is the Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol. This is where a heartbeat is sent out from the master device to the router configured as the slave device. The router configured as a slave will then take over the master device's role when the heartbeat is missing. For example, when the hardware failure or the router with the master role is disconnected from the LAN. This feature is very useful for industries that require stable connections and cannot afford any downtime in their networks. My network topology is as shown over here. Two Balanced 20x devices will be used, and they are both connected to the switch. The first Balanced 20x is the master device, while the second one will act as the slave device. To set up the master device, the first step is to go to the web admin page for that device. Then head to the network or advanced tab, depending on the device that you're using. Next, under the miscellaneous settings, you will see high availability. Click on that. Here you need to enable the mode and select the preferred role, whether it will act as the master device or the slave device. Since I'm setting up the master device, I will select the master option. Then you can also set up the group number and virtual IP address as shown here. A virtual IP address is an IP address that doesn't correspond to an actual physical network interface. The virtual IP address is the default gateway for all hosts connected to the LAN segment. It is important to remember that the HA pair must use the same group number. Another crucial point to remember is that the HA pair must share the same virtual IP address. This virtual IP address and the LAN administration IP address must be under the same network. There is also another option to resume the master role upon recovery. When this option is enabled, the original master unit will take over the master role from the original slave unit after rebooting. When this option is not enabled, the preferred slave unit will remain as the master until it is powered off. Then you can go ahead and save the settings and apply changes. The next step is to set up the slave device on the web admin of that device. So I can go ahead and do that for the second balance 20x. The steps are the same except for the preferred role setting. Make sure to select slave. There are actually two options for slave configuration in NAT mode. The two options are configuration sync and manual. When configuration sync is enabled, the slave unit will obtain and apply the configuration changes from the master unit every five minutes. Alternatively, you may also configure the slave unit manually. For configuration sync, the first step is to click and choose slave as the preferred role. Then choose the box to enable the configuration sync feature. Once you've done that, you can enter the serial number of the master unit. Before applying these changes, it is required to change the LAN IP address and set it to a different one from the master unit. To do this, go to network. Then under LAN settings, change the LAN IP address. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and click Save and Apply Changes to activate the settings. Once the configuration sync succeeds, you will find the successful message in the event log of the slave unit. Once the slave unit is configured to automatically sync configuration from the master unit, the web admin of the slave unit will be locked. Changes can only be made after you've disabled the configuration sync function. For the manual method, the first step is to go to the Systems tab for the Master Device web admin page. Then click Download under the Download Active Configuration section. Then you have to save the configuration file for the slave unit. To do this, you need to go to the System tab of your slave device. Then go to the Configuration section and choose the configuration file exported from the master device. Make sure you upload it under the Upload Configurations from High Availability pair and click Upload. Before applying these changes, it is required to change the LAN IP address and set it up as a different one from the master unit. To do this, go to Network and then go to LAN. Here you can change the LAN IP address. Then, since we uploaded the configuration from the master device, the configuration on your slave device will be set as master. So to change this, go to Network and under the High Availability section, you can change the preferred role of slave balance from master to slave. Finally, you can click Save and then Apply Changes to activate these settings. The failover takes place with a typical recovery time of 10 to 15 seconds. After the slave unit changed its role to master, all LAN connections will be re-established again. 
To ensure that the HA mode has been successfully enabled, you can head to the web admin page of your slave device. Then on the dashboard, you will be able to see the HA mode has been enabled.